Hey guys, how's everybody doing? We got Chuck down here today. What's How up, you doing? Yo? What's I'm, up, Chuck? I'm pretty good, man. All right, show us what you brought in today. So this is a, a P base that I picked up a couple months ago for the tour I just went on. Shout out to uh, Hamad International Airport for destroying my case. Wow, so you were <laughs> out on the road. Yes, sir. So this is sort of a put together, what we're looking at here. Uh-huh. This is an original 1970 body with the pickups. The original owner added a, a jazz bass pickup in there to make it more of a P-Bass Deluxe kind of thing. So 1970s body. Yeah, with the pickups as well. What kind of wood is that? that is that ash? You know, I'm not actually sure. Mm -hmm. um, I tend to just buy things that feel right to me. Uh -huh. <laughs> I've never been much, uh, much of a person to be concerned with the wood. I do, I put a lot of wear and tear on my instruments just with the amount of travel I do, so. What's the name of your band? Uh, I'm in a band called Jared in the Mill. Jared in the Mill. We're on Spotify, uh, YouTube, wherever you like to find your music. Nice. Yeah, and so. So somebody put this pickup in here. Yeah, they did kind of a botched job. Right. And see, they kind of chipped the wood a little bit, but to someone like me, that doesn't but really matter. But it's working. Yeah. And then I see you have the, the old vintage style pick guard. Yeah. But where you would do the trust adjustment here. Yeah. The neck was actually replaced at some point by the, uh, the last owner. So it's an 83 on the neck. Wow, that's so still kinda, really old, man. Oh, I know. I mean, I was born in 92, so this thing predates me. Hmm. That's a solid instrument. Sorry, the case is a little bit of a mess. And since we have it open here, what do you have here? Your Sans amp? Yeah. Tell so us a little bit about that. This pedal's okay. I, All right. I do a fair amount of flying for gigs, mm -hmm. and uh, it's a pain in the butt to take a pedal board. And I need a, a couple effects. So this was sort of my solution. Because I love the way that it can just fit in the case, so I can actually bring like a bag for clothes and stuff with me. I think they might have designed it to do that. In fact, I think it says "fly rig" on it. <laughs> it does. So this will give you. You plug your bass in here, and it gives you. You have compression. compression. Yeah, you have a Sans amp circuit and a boost as well. I hear a lot of really good things about Sans amp. I love my original Sans amp. This is a model of the Sans amp. It's uh, it's fairly close, but not quite. So spot it's on. basically a DI box with that, effects. With that gives you effects. Yeah. The the effect I use the most is this octave fuzz. Wow. I use that for soloing and the like. They give you solos. Yeah. Cool. I take them. <laughs> That's nice. What kind of amp do you take out on the road with you? I have an old Ampeg flip top that I like to use. And then uh, I also use an SWR Redhead. Hmm, okay. Yeah. Depending on sort of my mood the day before I leave. So this is your number one bass. Do you take a second bass this is actually with you? This is actually number two. Oh, okay. Yeah, I have a 72 as well. That's usually number one. Nice big thick strap. Yeah, my shoulder's falling apart. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I hear that happens to bass players. They start to get a sore neck, sore shoulders. Yep. Really cool, man. Chuck, yeah. thanks for bringing that thing in. Yeah, man. It's my pleasure. One more time, what's your band called? Uh, Jared and the Mill. Find us on Spotify, Apple Music, etc. Thanks, man. Rock and roll. Take care. Yeah. Bye, guys.